guys, Shanti Terry here from Shantique's Design, coming at you guys with another tutorial today. Today I'm going to be talking about a product called Embellish. I picked it up when I went to Fort Worth not too long ago. Uh, the owner and founder of the Maison Blanche paint company, Annie Omar, was kind enough to invite me down to watch her do a demonstration with some of her new products. I went down, had a great time, and picked up several different things, but today we're going to talk specifically about Embellish. Um, it's similar to Glissage in nature, but not really. Glissage um, is what I use on my TV trays a while back to create those raised stencil designs with a mandala. Um, this product is not designed to mimic wood. It dries um, and it's not sandable and it's actually flexible in nature. She did the demonstration on plastic sheets and you could kind of bend them and wobble them. So they kind of move around with the piece. Uh, they won't crack or anything like that. So it's a really neat texture medium. I'm excited to try it. You guys stay with me and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Okay, so to get started here, we're just gonna get some embellish out. I just used a spatula couple scoops and I started spreading it around with my float. I used this when I did my zebra mosaic top table a while back so I had it on hand. After that I just like to level out the surface here. I wanted it nice and smooth so I'm just pulling um, a scraper that I used when I did my concrete cabinets. After that I'm taking my Maison Blanche croc skin roller and I'm just lining up the edges and rolling it out in a a sideways pattern kind of with some curves you don't want it straight back and forth across I mean I guess you could but it won't look as natural if you do it that way so the top was easy peasy and now we're gonna go ahead and do the drawer fronts just lining up the edges and then I'll kind of angle the roller for the second last bit and just kind of roll that out here we're doing a little bit of cleanup as I said earlier this particular cream is not sandable so you want to wipe off any excess you won't be able to take it off later so clean it up after that, I painted the top with Franciscan gray and the drawer front, so I had a nice darker base for my croc skin. I didn't want it to be white based, so I covered that up. Now we're gonna go ahead and start applying the glaze. You just brush on a nice, even coat. Um, I'm just using a chip brush because I'm gonna kind of work it into the nooks and crannies. So just make sure that you get a nice, good coverage on the drawer front or whatever you're working on. I move on to the top next, make sure that it has some as well. And don't worry about leaving the glaze setting because we're going to wipe off the excess here in just a minute. And here we are wiping back the glaze with a damp sponge. Just wet it up and wring it out as much as you can. I'm going to be using it in conjunction with the microfiber towel. After I take off the top layer of glaze, I go in with my microfiber towel. Clean it up, add more glaze where necessary, and just work with it until I get the look that I like. Here is the finished crop top surface on the drawer and the top. With the top and the drawer done, it was time to go ahead and wax the base. I'm using vanilla latte. This color isn't quite out yet, but it's coming out soon. It's a nice cream coffee color and it gave me a really nice hint of brown, a really light hint of brown. I didn't want it too dark and this color came out just perfect for me. It made the white a little bit more creamy and it just looked awesome. And here we are, this is the finished croc top table. It's got a nice croc drawer as well. I really love the way that this came out. You guys, if you want this done on a piece, let me know. If you wanna try the products out yourself, they're available at Found Furnishings in Midland, Texas at 428 Andrews Highway. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.